Mark from BSG.com and I want to I've I had a video on the get seller items t feature in the Ashini, but I want to I want to do a nice short video explaining what it does and the importance of it because basically this video is for all the guys who are in the Ashini, right I want for the next month or two that every listing that goes into your eBay account is listed through the get seller items tab um, I was talking to one or two of our more successful subscribers and uh, members and one or two of, of the members that are having a little trouble getting as many sales as they should, right? And the main difference that I've seen is that the guys who have consistent sales that happen all the time are using the Get Seller Items feature. And the reason for that is that the Get Seller Items feature ensures that you, you, you only list items that sell regularly and have sell at least once in the past seven days. So let me just get into it and show you exactly what it is. So if you guys remember, the strategy that I usually use is I keep a list of sellers where I take all their top selling items from, from each one of these sellers, right? So when I'm looking for items to sell, I just have a list of sellers that I regularly take from. And when I say a list, I have a list of about 200 sellers, and I've been working with these 200 sellers for about two, two and a half years now. Some of the guys who I started with don't drop ship anymore, so I just added more sellers to fill that list. So, I mean, that, that's neither here nor there. But me personally, I just work. So basically, my thought process is this, right? Out of these 200 sellers that, have been, that sell anywhere from 5,000 to, uh, 5, to, to all the way up to 100 or $200,000 a month, right? My thought process, let's just say the average sales of each one of these sellers is $10,000. If I have 200 of these guys, I have $2 million, so that's 200 multiplied by 10,000. That's $2 million worth of sales for the past 30 days. So understand what I'm saying. I have a list of 200 uh, drop shippers that drop ship on eBay. That sell and my average is more than ten thousand. But let's say you have an average of ten thousand dollars a month that these guys are selling. So this group of guys are selling two two million dollars a month, right? If I take the top selling items from all of these guys, I would need even if I get. Let me see. Even if I get one percent of that two million dollars monthly, I'll be selling twenty thousand dollars a month. Okay. So that's kind of the thought process. So you want to get a solid list of drop seller, drop shippers, and take their top selling items. And I have some some therapy, some videos on therapy and how to do that. But that is more for the guys who are not in DSGE as well as just to understand how the um, get sell items work. So basically, you don't you want to stay away from therapy. You want to not use the add items feature unless you add in one of your items. You want to only list through the get seller items tab. Okay. So you go into this is the main dashboard in DSGNE. Um The get seller. So this is the tab you want to hit. Get seller items, and there's multiple in brackets. So when you hit that, what would come up is you have a space for to add the name of the sellers. You could have a list of sellers. I suggest only doing up to five at a time. So you add your sellers here. You add how minimum quantity sold. What this is asking you. Is you want all the listings that okay? So let me fill it out and explain. So under seller, you'll put your competitor, right? 365, and then you'll go down here and put minimum quantity sold. I want all his items that sold at least four times in the past 30 days. You can put a minimum price. I seldomly use this tab, but if I have enough listings and I only want like expensive items, I might put a hundred dollars or four hundred dollars, but but let's just stick to this. So classic 365 is one day drop shippers that is not in the SGNE and I've used for pretty much all my videos. You hit search. Now please understand what is going on here. The, well, the SGNE is going to go through all the listings and shoot out the results. But please understand what is going on here. Once you focus, once all you do is list through the get seller item, the thinking is not just doesn't exist. You don't have to worry about if the item is going to sell. You don't have to worry about finding things that are going to sell, finding things that sold. 
This doesn't work for you. Your work, your, your, this, <coughs> the work that you have to do is build a list of competing dropshippers. Okay? All you do is build a list of dropshippers. We sell dropship, a list of dropshippers and we don't sell the same to everyone. Um, I'll do a video on, on finding dropshippers. Okay, so the process is done. All, <coughs> all of the, the items that was pulled from this guy are in two places. If you go to the home, home page and you scroll down, under my research, you'll see the name of the guy, Classic 365 and 11 items. So you got 11 items that sold at least four times in the past 30 days. Or you could go to this tab, my research. It's the same thing. 11 items, right? Now we still don't know if we can make a profit. So you hit Classic 365. Let's find. Um, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to see if I can find one that I found before. I think, alright, so let's choose this, this fryer here, if I remember correctly. I've been doing this way too often. Um, yeah, I think this is, a, this is either Amazon or Academy, so let me look. So let me search for this item. Alright, so this is the item here. Is it? And, uh, no. Alright, let's go back and see. No. What I wanted is find the source for the item, okay? eBay, eBay, eBay. Uh, I'll search for the description. So what I did is I opened his, his listing. You see he sold 56 of them. Check the description. Search. I'm doing all of this for you guys to see. eBay. Hmm. I thought I found this before. Let me see what other information I have here. So I don't have the UPC. Academy. Okay, yeah, I knew I saw this before. Right. So you put this in, copy the link. Remember, there's a $10 price here, a $10 shipping cost. Alright. You put it into the external. External URL, it save, it goes to the other page. It goes to the page where it's repriced. Remember, we saw on the Academy page that there's an extra $10 shipping charge. So I would add $10 here. And this is one of the things you want to be careful of. Alright? You fix your description. Let's save again. All your images are fine. Save. This is just like the add items feature for those of you guys who used it before. And if you notice the item is in the suggested items, all you do is hit add to my eBay account and it's going to be listed, right? If you look at the research, it's down to 10 items. So I want to stress this again and I cannot stress it anymore. I want all you guys in DS, you need to stop listing items. Do me a favor, stop listing items for a month with any other feature except for the get seller items feature for two reasons one is going to save you a whole lot of time and secondly it will keep you on the right track to find items that have sold regularly and you wouldn't be distracted and go try to sell something that you like or something that you think are going to sell what we want to do is sell items that sell 
and, and make money. You can go play around and try to sell other stuff after. But primarily, we want to sell items that sell and sell consistently. All right. Thanks for your time. Please comment on the video, subscribe, ask questions. Um, those of you guys who are not in DSM, you all got to kind of sneak peek into one of the cool features that we have in there. And have a great day. Bye-bye.